had this great idea that was like, let's do winter in the Tetons. Except our heater will not turn on. So we've been staying at the tiny house and we had friends who flew into Jackson that we were supposed to meet and spend time with. So now we're doing the commute to Jackson. And from my understanding, there's a quite terrifying pass. Teton Pass and it's a 10% grade, and I hope we make it. I hope we make it to Jackson today, because I don't have full confidence that we actually are. And that would suck if we miss our friends. Our friends flew in from New York, they planned a little vacation. We're going to hang out with them all day, do fun stuff. I'm so excited to go to Jackson because it's somewhere I've wanted to go for a long time. Are we going to make it? I hope so. It's going to be a bit dicey. <laughs> Oh my god, we're having such problems with the heater. We've been trying to get the heater to run for four days. And honestly, like I'm just kind of over winter van life. I don't want to do it anymore. It was like a little fun adventure and now it's like this kind of sucks. And also, my new look, if you like it, go check out my little transformation video over on my channel. So, if you want to, you should, but you know. Slow and smooth, baby. <laughs> That's the goal. How fast we going? Dirty. <laughs> oh my god, there is so much snow and this is... We're going up, like, up. How are we handling it, Coco? We pulled over because we need to scrub the windshield more. We're like very unprepared for this. Charlie's using our Costco membership that we no longer have. Just scrub the window. Um, there's an insane amount of people here parked at this spot that are hiking up the mountain to ski down. Hiking up the mountain to ski down. It's like sledding, but like on crack and terrible. Like what? Oh my God. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. That's just all cloud. Win for the day so far. Whoa. So we ended up getting trunk last night with Tori and Josh and then neglected to take any part of planning or thinking about what we we're gonna do today. <laughs> so, I don't know. No, we were like talking last night like no takeout, no takeout. I'm gonna need some takeout. Need some takeout. <laughs> you were sauced last night. Go bigger, go home. So I think we're over our heads with winter van life and I now think we're stuck in the snow on the side of a one-way mountain trying to look for moose. Did I mention that it's nighttime and it's also getting dark? What the fuck have we done? What have we done? Oh, <sighs> getting out. trying to look for moose we this is not good this road is very slippery now I understand how we're in this situation I was like baby 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 oh shit this is so bad yeah. <laughs> this is Galen's give me an icy walk <laughs> I need to change my shoes so bad I cannot walk in my docks at all. Okay, I'm trying to hold the door open while you're looking for a toe strap. I'm trying to get it. Trying to get a toe strap. We're with Caitlin Tim, who flew in from New York for a vacation in Jackson, and we all went to hunt, not hunt, oh my god, we all went to look for moose together. This is where we are. This is because our waitress gave us this spot and was like, yeah, that's where I camp in my truck. Oh my god, what have we done? What did you do to us? I didn't do anything. The road just sucked me in. Oh my god. Yeah, for real though. All right, we're trying to figure out what to hook the strap to because there's no tow hook. And it's literally getting dark and it's so cold. Like, this is pure ice. You saw me fall twice already. Well, we all fall together. <sighs> this is not exactly what we thought when we were going to look for moose. It'd be sick though, like, if a moose just came, like, right over here. Like, that would be sick. 100% worth it. <laughs> Not only that, there's literally no way for us to turn around, either one of us. And like, we just, oh shit, this is, this is gonna be something. This is, this is, I don't know. I believe in you. Oh, it's not working. It's working. 
working. Attempt two. Come on. Come on. Feeling good about try three? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's give it another At least whirl. it's not eight degrees. <laughs> No. Don't worry, it's not like our heater works or anything. Heater is definitely not fixed. We've been trying to play with it on and off today and it's still not working. All right, here we go. Yeah, come on, come on! Okay, now we're both stuck on this road. We have a truck that's trying to come down the road. It's getting darker, it's getting colder. This is kind of getting stressful. I think he's walking right to help us, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? He said he's new to what? New York? Welcome to Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> My God, he walked over here, shovel in hand, ready to go. It was just like, you buried? Are you new to Wyoming? All right, so we're moving Caitlin and Tim's rental car, and then we have to find out his name, but he has actual 4x4. He's gonna try and pull us out. And there's a turnaround like right up there, so like when we're on sock, we can just get the hell out of here. I'm feeling a uh, warm. <laughs> I, you told me to put my hiking boots on. I didn't. <laughs> it's Wyoming. This is like every every other day. No. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. This is the time that we get really nervous because. I don't know what our other options are, so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we have one more try and then we have to call someone else with a bigger truck. With a bigger truck. So, let, here's the hoping that we get out this time. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. That was a toe strap. It just snapped. What the hell have we done? <sighs> Fucked up this day. I think this is the worst choice that we've made. And when we said, I was like, Charlie, can you just call AAA? And he laughed, like, hysterically. And he was like, oh, we don't have AAA here. He's like, you call the guy with the bigger truck, then you call the next guy with the bigger truck. That's AAA. And then we're, like, getting ready to sit in the van, and they went to go leave to get another truck. And we're like, our waitress told us to come up here, and they both just looked at each other like, your waitress was probably from Idaho. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Okay, we now, it's now pitch black out. We're waiting for the next truck. I don't even know what's happening. And I'm really just like, don't have confidence that we're gonna get off this mountain tonight. And our heater's broken. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I feel like we might be sleeping here and just hoping for help tomorrow morning. Okay, we got, is it one? One or two trucks. I don't know. We got help. Help has returned. They didn't abandon us. They came back to help us. I think this is a mission for them now as well. Like, oh no, we're getting this van out. <sighs> so we got like the diesel tow strap, the big truck. <coughs> no. Oh boy. I'm so worried that even if we get out, like how are we going to get the rest up to where we can turn around? Which is 75 feet, I think. But still, as it just gets more frozen, more icy, more cold. It's going to be zero degrees tonight. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try and pull from the front. Okay. And towing. Hi, I'm gonna need a tow. I'm pretty stuck in the snow. Oh my god, I don't even know how expensive this is going to be right now. Oh my god, thank you, thank you so, so much, much for everything that you really? did. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Let's um, go look for moose. <laughs> and we didn't even see a stupid moose. You have something that needs to be pulled out of the ditch. Oh yeah, we got ourselves in good this time. The tow truck driver is like 25, 30 minutes away, but he's on his way. He's gonna tow us out of here. This is very stressful. Oh, I feel like we saw the snowy road and I was like, yeah, we'll be fine. So this is my fault. <sighs> Definitely sucks, but as long as this tow truck driver gets us here, gets us out of here, even though it's $300 an hour, I don't care. We'll get out of here, grab a drink, and then head back through the pass, back to our tiny house. 
Maybe we have headlights coming up, then it's time to get out of here. I'm so stressed. I think I'm more stressed because our heater still so won't work. We got a tow truck! Needs a little guidance. Looks like we're out of the ditch. All right, we're out, and uh, I gotta drive. I gotta go a quarter mile up the road to the turnaround, and then that's that. And we gotta drive all the way back down this road. Made it up to this spot pretty good. I guess he said I probably just got too close to the edge. We gotta go drive down the hill. The mountain, I don't even know if we really drove uphill. No, it was uphill. It was uphill? Shit, this is not good. Oh, is this pavement? Oh, Ooh. oh shit. We made it. Kyle, you're not watching this, but thank you. <laughs> Kyle, you're the man. I think it's time for a celebratory beverage. Yeah. And then a nice steep drive home. Not only did we just get stuck in the snow, but we're doing the Teton Pass again. Is it a moose? Yeah, is it a moose? Uh, oh, it's kind of hefty. Okay, it's a big ass <laughs> neck. God. Damn it. All right, not only did we almost just hit an elk, but it we're both just like moose. As we were like that would have been the ultimate karma. We're back. Made it to the tiny house, and in gen no time eating lasagna. So hungry. We're back. We're gonna eat some lasagna, go to bed, and we're thinking of maybe going to check out some mooses tomorrow, a little local around here, but we'll see. Feel the vibe, see what we feel like tomorrow. Uh, hung over this morning, stuck tonight. Oh my god, right? It's like longest day ever. Yeah. Final thoughts of the evening? A little on has come. gonna see a moose. I hope we see a moose. Even in the Google images for this spot, there's like a million moose. There's gotta be moose here. We didn't get stuck in the snow last night to not see a moose this winter. Cause we're, I'll tell you what, we're done with winter fan life. <laughs> Come on, moosies. It's been like five minutes. I'm already like, this was fun. <laughs> That's a wrap on moose hunting. Why do I keep saying hunting? I'm pretty sure moose aren't real. I think we're done. Calling it. Yeah, there's no moose. We drove away. And I think we have moose. I think we have three moose. Mooses? Meese? Eating in this field right here. Uh, I just can't believe that. I saw it. Three points for me. I now have taken the lead on winter van life. All uh, right, well it happened. We finally saw our moose. And now winter van life is over. Yeah. And it was like, it was great and it was exciting, but. Let's get the hell out of the cold. It's just, it's too much. We're gonna go pack this tiny house and get back on the road. Get on, no get on. <laughs> Can't stay here. Maybe you enjoyed that. No, I never changed my shoes. We've gotten stuck plenty of times before, like over here in Baja. Ooh. That's my moose. <laughs> Maybe you wanna keep watching Winter Van Life right here. Or you can subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs>